Come on. She lives. Don't get too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. So Dave Filoni is doing interviews, of course, because The Clone Wars, the final season, is coming out this Friday, and with that, he's being asked questions about Ahsoka. And he's assuring us that just because we heard her voice in The Rise of Skywalker doesn't mean that she's actually dead. Actually, Dave wants us all to know that we're not learning our lessons that we should be from Star Wars, and that we're all acting like Sith. So he said, I have to wonder with Star Wars fans. They seem to watch the movies, but they don't take all the lessons. They deal a lot in absolutes, which is very much a Sith thing. I remember in The Empire Strikes Back, Luke speaking out through the Force to Leia. Vader also does this at the end of Empire Strikes Back. There's no absoluteness that these people are dead. I mean, some of them we know are dead. So yeah, Dave is out there in interviews trying to say... Rey heard Ahsoka's voice when she was calling on the help of the Jedi when taking on her grandpa Palpatine, but that doesn't mean anything. Yeah, some of the voices definitely, for sure, we know they're dead, but we don't know with all of them. That being said, he does love how much we care about Ahsoka. I always take from fan reactions that, wow, they really care about this character. They want to know the ins and outs and everything. And so I take it with a real grain of respect because we've got to figure all these things out and how it works. And it is interesting that the voice is there. But what does that mean? So don't count Ahsoka out quite yet. Interestingly, what happened in The Rise of Skywalker doesn't change any of Filoni's plans for Ahsoka. So I feel like that also says quite a bit. So on that he said, It doesn't really have any big implications to what I'm doing with the character, to be honest. I just thought it was a really fun thing. I thought JJ's instinct to be so inclusive with all the various elements of Star Wars and characters was great. And I thought it would be a great thing for the actors involved to be part of something that was just really the celebrating moment of the Star Wars saga. So I didn't think of it as a literal story way. The film to me is like a different area. Finally, Dave said that once he gets to the time period of The Rise of Skywalker, so the sequel trilogy time, then he'll start to put more thought into Ahsoka and where he wants to take her during that time. And he didn't confirm this, but we know through leaks that apparently there's a Rebel sequel which will deal with Sabine and Ahsoka trying to find Ezra, and Ezra has of course teamed up with Thrawn because they were thrown into the thick of it with each other, and I believe they are now in the Unknown Regions, according to the leaks for the Rebels sequel. Again though, Dave did not confirm anything about a Rebels sequel, and he was even asked about it, and he said that would be quite the scoop, wouldn't it, if I told you that? So right now it's just rumors and leaks and nothing concrete with that. So if you were heartbroken after The Rise of Skywalker because you felt like this is how you were being told that Ahsoka is dead, don't be. There's still hope. Hashtag Ahsoka lives. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars videos.